hello everyone and welcome to my channel this is going to be a pick a card or a pick a pile reading and i'm lena and i welcome you to my channel so before we start with the reading um so yesterday i made an announcement on my channel that i'm offering a festival discount till the uh november 15th so if you want any personal bookings you can check the description box of the video and let's come back to reading so today's topic is what are you going to overcome in your career and finances okay so i have two piles or two options to choose from first one is a pebble this is something i bought from the banks of ganga river this is the first option and this is number two lord shiva's damru so this is your second option If you need a moment to pause and select your pile, feel free to do that. If you want to listen to both the piles and take what resonates with you more, feel free to do that as well. I'm going to start with pile number one, the pebble pile. So hello group number one, whosoever chose this pebble from the Ganga River, from the banks of the Ganga River, this is going to be your pile. I'm keeping it here so that you can take a look when you want. So let's see your pile. I'm guided to take first the Kipper message. Oh, wow. You have courtship mm, number four. The alphabet C is really standing out to me. I'm getting a feeling for many of you, you are going to have some kind of breakup or I'm actually feeling the situation of a divorce for some reason. Like there is a separation happening, but this separation is going to help you to overcome the financial challenges you have been facing. However, uh, let's see the other cards. I don't want to jump the gun. Mm, this one. Okay, you got two. Oh my God. Yeah, babe. <laughs> I think yeah I already said what I think I already literally gave you the message you have a bear with ten of wands which is ten of clubs and a ring with ace of clubs or ace of wands yeah babe yeah honey I don't know why I want to keep on saying that yeah honey yeah babe <laughs> damn okay uh, should we take okay let me let's take the tarot first I'm not taking any reversal oh my god damn you need to just give me I think I've already given you the message the cards are just confirming what my intuition told me ten of swords oh I never noticed this hang on what is that oh wow I never noticed this there is a sword going right through both the eyes of this um, is it a bull or is it a goat it's a bull I guess wow I never noticed this oh this is symbolic for some reason my eyes keep on going to like the eyes of the animals on the cards that I see like I keep on seeing and I never noticed this this is so strange the sword is passing through both the eyes of these creature hmm interesting hanged man ace of pentacles uh, till now you have got two aces in your reading very interesting hmm, my intuition is right uh, the cards are confirming damn seven of wands i'm hearing come to me baby come to me what is this going on damn okay damn it i gave you the message this is just confirming my intuition seven of swords like damn whoa king of pentacles damn. you know what by the way this is a message i woke up to this morning this morning this is the message i channeled 
now I get it why I was getting it so strongly. I wanted to wait till I do a reading today and the message is now fitting it with, like this is something I got when I literally woke up in the morning and I was getting some message this is the same message wait <sighs> Damn. there's another 10 here 64 your reading is surprising me because each card like from okay this is a different deck 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 like what and the message is freaking same. Sometimes life stinks. Hmm. Okay, come on, people. What the heck? Damn. Chamunda. Okay, your message is clear. Your message here is telling me that you are going to see someone's mask coming off. Or you have already started seeing someone's true colors coming out. And you are going to detach yourself from this person. You're seeing the true colors of someone. You are seeing the kind of deception they have brought into your life. The kind of negative energy they have brought into your life. And this is mostly, I feel, in terms of your love life. For many of you, this will be love life because we also have the ring card. This person was keeping you stuck financially. They were a negative influence in your career, in your finances. There's a reason why all the cards are pointing towards some kind of pain of separation. See, sometimes life stings. You have the Seven of Swords. You have the Hangman at Ten, on, uh, ten of Swords. And remember, I, I, I made you see this sword going through the eyes. Someone was literally betraying you right in front of your eyes. Like someone was trying to do a lot of nasty stuff. Uh, stuff staff. For some of you, I'm also getting this person was cheating with someone in their workplace. This is very specific. I'm getting a feeling what you're overcoming in your career or finances is that you are detaching yourself from a negative influence. You are detaching yourself from a negative relationship or situationship that is helping you to bring in much better connection in life. And this will help you to also financially exhale. Excel. <laughs> Did I say exhale? Sorry. <laughs> what is wrong with me? So, um, look, you have the Ace of Pentacles. You have the King of Pentacles. After you detach yourself from this negative connection, some of you, you are in the process of it. Some of you, you might have recently literally done this. Like, you have detached yourself from a connection. Because you started understanding that this person is only keeping you stuck financially. Look at that. This person was keeping you stuck, not only emotionally, but financially and in your career. They were a negative influence. There's a reason why Chamunda came up. Chamunda protects you from negative energy. She's a protector. Her energy is of protecting from evil forces, from negative energy. So that's what you're overcoming in your career and finances. You're overcoming a very negative influence, a negative attachment relationship by seeing someone's true color. And this is helping you to overcome your financial challenges as well. Because now you're going to attract newer opportunities, better connections, people with better resources so that you can um, up-level yourself in your career and finances. Like, damn, your message was so freaking clear. Okay. I don't think so I need to clarify anything. This is like crystal clear here. Crystal effing clear. So right now, maybe you might be hurting. You might be going through a period of, you know, like why this happened to me. Or just because you are now seeing the true colors of someone, it definitely hurts you. But see what is lying ahead of you. You have King of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Chamunda is confirming that you are actually being protected from negative energy. She's here to remind you that whatever is being taken away from you, it's only for your good. She's trying to protect you. This is a protection. I think group number one, I don't want to drag the message. Message is very clear. So I will see you again on my channel. Bye bye. Group number two, whosoever, <laughs> whosoever chose the Dambaru, this is going to be our message. I'm going to keep it here so that you can have a look.
whenever you want. I'm guided to take these cards first. So yeah, let me take them. I'm not taking reversals. <laughs> this card came out in group number one as well. Seven of Swords from a different deck, of course. <sighs> Damn it. Justice. So many Swords card. My God. Five of Swords. Yeah. There is so much of like Swords energy. For you, I am getting a message already that you are coming out of a delusion of something working out for you. But this delusion is kind of giving me a feeling of, you know, an idea of yours or a particular job or something that you have invested in. It's like you're coming out of the delusion that it's going to work for you. You are actually seeing the reality. But here the message, the message is kind of similar with group number one, but it is again different. I'll tell you how it's different. Because for you, I'm seeing that you're coming out of some kind of delusion, whether in the way you're doing something, like say, for example, you're following a particular type of uh, method of doing business. Say, for example, you were investing your money into option A. So now you're realizing that no, probably I need to divert my funds towards option B. Or you're going to realize that, you know what, this business strategy is not working for me. I need to bring a change in this business strategy or some kind of marketing strategy. I'm getting a feeling you're coming out of some kind of delusion, like there is some kind of clarity entering your life. Like, <clears throat> like when I see this, this is giving me the feeling of like a clear idea of day and night. For some reason, I'm getting a message like that by seeing this card. So as if you are now clearly seeing that, you know what, okay, this is what is not working for me. This is where I'll go next, you know, like, there's a clarity when it comes to taking action into something. We'll clarify as we go ahead with the cards. Let me take this one, which I'm guided to take. Oh, wow. You have the house card. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Hang on. Where is that? Um, I think. Oh, yeah. There's one more card I got for this one. Message. Lady with Ace of Spades, which is Ace of Swords. Oh my God, I was talking about clarity and Ace of Swords is here. You have so many Swords card. Swords represent thoughts, your thoughts, okay? <clears throat> You have got four, okay. Um, my god damn. Eight of swords. Color green is significant. For some of you, I feel you're healing your heart chakra. Um, or you are being asked to focus on healing your heart chakra. <clears throat> Three of pentacles. <clears throat> Suddenly, what's wrong with my throat? <laughs> <clears> throat> Sorry. Hmm. I was talking about day and night. Like, look at that. Temperance. The world. Yeah, babe. Okay. The number seven is repeating so many times in your reading. Like, you have a seven here as well. It is significant. Ooh, I can't believe this, man. I can't believe this. The message is so clear and I already gave you the message. See, you have Gauri Devi and you have Temperance. They do, uh, they, what was I about to say? Sorry, um, they both talk about balance because Gauri Devi in this deck represents that you have to operate from a place of balance. 
you can be kind but at the same time you ha you also have to draw healthy boundaries with people so you have to reconsider whether you're being too kind to people and people might be taking advantage of that or you're being too rude or too withdrawn from people and you need to little bit open up so it depends since it's a general reading so which one are you resonating with who will be your message so you need to recheck your boundaries you need to recheck are you operating from a place of balance exactly okay so your message here is clear to me now that you are getting so what are you overcoming basically in your career and finances so you are overcoming the challenge of lack of clarity you are understanding or you are learning how to balance certain things when it comes to your work <clears throat> excuse me i'm also getting a feeling because my throat keeps on behaving weird so maybe some of you you need to speak up more something that bothers you you need to be upfront with your boss or upfront with your employees if you feel that people who are working with you they are not contributing as much as you expect then you sh it's time to communicate with them it's time to communicate with people in your family or you know in your community that you need their help okay so i'm getting a feeling you need to convey it uh, you need to clearly convey uh, there should be um, speaking up for yourself and what you're overcoming is i feel also with this message coming up you're getting some kind of information that is helping you to make a decision in life okay so this information could be in the form of you know like your boss finally uh, giving you a clarification on like okay uh, this is what we are thinking for you for the next six months this is what we are offering you so you know now you're becoming clear that okay for the next six months since they're not giving me what i want so i'm going to leave i'll take a new job so understanding what i'm trying to say so there is some kind of definitely revelation happening um that is helping you to restore balance in your career and finances so basically your challenge that you're overcoming is the uh, challenge of not having any clarity because we also saw the eight of swords in this eight of swords it is very different see how this girl she's enlightened with something there's a like at the back of her there is like a light shining so she's enlightened so what you're overcoming is you're overcoming the challenge of not having clarity in a situation finally you're able to see okay this is what i can expect in the next five months or six months from what i'm doing right now so better i will change it okay so either you will accordingly then you will take a decision of changing your job or accordingly you will take the decision of investing your money somewhere else or accordingly you will take the decision of you know um that okay this place is not working out for me i'm going to change it and move somewhere else okay so this is the kind of feeling i get and that particular decision will help you to balance a lot of things in life okay it will bring much more clarity it is going to restore a lot of balance and it is also going to help you earn a place of respect um, in your community or workplace for some of you since the lady card came out this information flowing to you could be from a feminine energy uh, for some of you i'm also getting that maybe there is some information coming from your mother or a mother-like figure that's helping you to finally make a decision for some of you i'm also getting since the like you might get the news of your mother's health improving so now it's like you're more relieved and you can focus more on your work so for some of you it's regarding like your mother or some feminine energy in your family since now you feel like you get the message that they are doing better they're in a better health so it's like easier for you to now focus on work so for some of you that could be the message for some of you i'm also getting you are getting uh, like maybe you are about to crack a deal which involves some kind of international client this could be very specific for some people i'm getting a feeling maybe some of you um, you were waiting for a client to give you clarity so that you can proceed with a deal so that deal will be done so the client is now giving you a green flag for some of you i'm also getting um, 
something that was blocking your deal for some reason i'm getting a place being rented for a hair salon i don't know like a hair salon or maybe you were about to rent a place so since now you're getting a better deal so finally you are choosing that place uh something like that like your problem that i'm seeing here if i talk in a like if i generally underline then generally the um fact that i can underline here is that you are definitely receiving much more clarity and this clarity is helping you to bring much more balance in a general sense if i underline what your message is saying okay um, you can fit as per your situation as it resonates <coughs> excuse me i think yeah so this is where i leave you with the reading i hope you enjoyed and i'm going to see you again on my channel bye bye